Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. African civil rights activist Nelson Mandela did say, to deny people their human rights is to challenge their very humanity. Welcome to The Advocate, where five thought-provoking topics are discussed with no holds barred here on Plus TV Africa. We basically call it a spade by its name. The right to protest is on my mind today after yet another round of intimidation last weekend. The vexing question of leadership is also up again. But this time, Treasure is not teaching English language today, nor is she angry about UN Women Nigeria or her darling profession. But surprisingly, she's teaching protocols amongst government functionaries. I can't wait to listen to her. The birthday man who was absent last week is back to talk about the virtue of lifestyle change vis-a-vis -vis what we eat. Neidu, yes, the famous end-time landlord, also known as Alaji Musa, is also here with us today. Not to see corruption as come chop is what he's telling us. And Liberos, the son of Oshoma, is using Nigeria's national anthem and the usual play on words to remind us that though tribe and tongue may differ, in brotherhood we stand. If only we agree to disagree. I know you're watching because you expect a mix of seriousness, laughter, and jabs. So sit back. We're here to please. After the break, welcome again. 40 peaceful protesters were arrested at Lekki Toge last weekend. Some people were upset at their audacity. I ask, what's the job of the Nigerian police? Aside arresting peaceful protesters, that is. The police arrested them for breaking COVID-19 protocols, but the same police packed them in black marias and buses like sardine. They said they broke the police instruction against any protest, peaceful or not. But I ask again, is the Nigerian police above the Nigerian constitution? The protesters were harassed, their phones smashed. Is that okay by all of us? Wow, and we say we aren't in a zoo. I can't even beat animals like that. If people, uh, a few people asked why the protesters gathered, I asked, has there been justice since the Lekki Tollgate massacre? Or oh, that doesn't count for anything. Why is the Tollgate being considered for reopening without answers? Some accused the protesters of being paid by opposition. That's the funniest. Not like it's impossible. But if I joke with President Buhari's opponents online, I can't demand for good governance from his government? Must everything be reduced to party politics? Why can't we focus on the real issues, like who ordered the shooting at the Lekki Gate? Will they ever be brought to book? Imagine the state that houses the most notorious SARS unit in the country. It hasn't even convened its panel of inquiry. Did the government think things will just go back to being normal? The harrowing stories of police brutality across the country is something we all should be concerned about. But no, some people are busy mocking the people who came out to protest. If the police can't protect peaceful protesters, what's the job of the police force? If people had to be murdered so the Lekki Tollgate can be reopened, 
what's the value of a Nigerian life? And if Nigeria is working for you now because you like the government in power or you're benefiting from it, are you saying it's okay for your children to be killed in future when the government in power is different? I know we all can't see things the same way, but if we can't agree on the sanctity of human life just because you support a government, remember, what goes around does come around. Your own life may be the next in line. Will Nigerians ever come together to demand good governance regardless of the political party in power? I'm just a journalist asking questions. Say Fini. Well, I'm just an accountant. County no, money. They do is um, he's a journalist not asking questions. <laughs> mm, but treasure is always asking questions though. And so but really for me, um, it's just a vicious circle. We just keep going. Um, the funniest part of it is the fact that everything those in power and their supporters criticized those days, hmm. they support today. Very true, sir. And everything those in opposition criti uh, supported before now, they criticized today. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, how, how, sorry, uh, how is it not intriguing that the same people, I remember <clears throat> when Minister Lai was the spokesperson of the APC back then, weren't we looking at, at them on TV all over the place, massive protests? Yep. At uh, Ojota. That, that's, that's, that's how it works. And now <laughs> it is criminal. But, but, but you must give gather. it to them. They yes. were a better opposition party. Mm. Very it, true. I, I don't, it I don't be think a better PDP... opposition party does not criminalize the right to, to protest. protest. No, I agree. No, it has nothing to do with the exactly. right to protest. Exactly. So why are they doing this? So, when is their turn? To be the incumbent that's government. The thing. Listen, if it benefits you, yeah. it's not. It's, it's okay. No, it's gold. It's okay. That's the it's way it works. But if it doesn't benefit you, I no, no, you, you dare not tell you. I don't think I started. Okay, okay, so I then have, I have a, I have a follow-up question then. Does it mean that as Nigerians, as a people, we're very okay with mediocrity? We're, yes, we are, we are. we're all corrupt. No, yeah, yeah we are. So yes, it's just that yeah. we haven't gotten the opportunity to show how corrupt yes, we are. You know the, the, the smartest person in Nigeria Will become a mediocre overnight when it gets to a position of About. influence and there is money to be grabbed. Yes. You just start wondering what happened to my guy overnight. You keep asking questions. Money has you come. see a guy, maybe when the guy is um, 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 campaigning, ah, I will do this, ah, I will do this one once I enter. And then all of a sudden the guy gets there. You come, they wonder, ah, Baba, not be that guy with us. Say, Go do this President Buhari <laughs> actually <laughs> even told us when he recounted his um, campaign promises and said, mm. no. Now, APC campaign, that was their uh, manifesto. So he didn't believe in some of those things himself. And I remembered last, before the election, to, was it 2015? Yeah, 2015. Yeah. What is subsidy? Uh, What's subsidy? That video what? is online. <laughs> <laughs> that video, is there anybody that tells you about subsidy is lying to you? Lying to you. Meanwhile, yeah. last week, here, yeah, I mean this week, what, which are they talking? We see the this bills. week, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Billions every week. Is going down. You, you see, all in the name of you see, um, for me, um, I want to give kudos <clears throat> to those guys that came out to protest. Yeah. Um, despite all the threats, they were yeah. courageous. They yeah. were courageous. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us couldn't even come out. Yeah. Some of us felt, you know, just like um, the song, the Christian song, I can't I'll come to the back way. Mm. Don't trouble me now. I have <laughs> so that was, that no one died, uh -huh. But these ones showed courage in the face of a moving train. True. They all came out, and if only we all speak with one voice like this, what is the capacity of the you know, total Nigerian prison put together? True. True. The capacity of Black Maria to start with. It's about 52,000. Mm. And then currently you have about um, 60, 67,000 inmates. inmates. And so that is excess of about 15,000 already. Space to so put even if you now arrest, let's say you have 500,000 people and they step out. If they arrest all of us, I tell you, just like what had happened, they will be confused on what to charge what you, us do, with. Do you know the truth? Uh, we're, 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 sorry to cut you. We're at the position where 
those people, for, for me, those people that came out, I'm sure thousands more wanted to come out that day. But they were afraid. But, they were afraid. Right. Now, but yeah. those ones that, you know, like nothing will happen or die and I die, that came out that day. Nigerians at the position where if you talk, nothing will happen. Yeah. You, talk, you talk, nothing, nothing will happen. happen. This one who they live now, like, who you could die on top. Yes. But, but it's, it's, was it not an opportunity for the Nigerian police? Because how many people came redeem, out at the end of the day? Redeem, it's exactly, you're and there. Protect them. Yeah. Protect them. Yes. Let them just yes. do their. Pro you know, I saw a huge speaker. Tell the guy with the speaker that, look, you can't have a party here. Keep your speaker. But those guys who have come, you come with placard. Do your thing. thing. We'll it's be like watching you do your even, thing. It's like they were even looking for opportunities to arrest. Yes. Because yeah. I saw and they arrested then? one a uh, dispatch rider. What I find <laughs> incomprehensible is the aftermath of everything. I know that in the civil service, as a former general manager, if you're sending your staff out, there's a briefing. Exactly. Yeah. You brief and then you brief. So then if this happens, do this. If this happens, do this. But so you sent out policemen to that place, and you're now telling us that Chanty they should no investigate them. Why did they? Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> the same way we are still investigating those who shot at the Lekki toll gate. I mean, by the way, the gate the was break. never shut down. Sorry, I said the toll gate was never shut down. Okay. You said because you refer to being opening the toll gate. <laughs> 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 But it's, it's a lot to think about. What's the value of the Nigerian life, truly? Mm. After the break, Treasure will be looking at the leadership loop in Nigeria vis-a-vis -vis the breach of protocol in Shasha. Stay with us. We'll be right back. It has been a rather eventful week in Nigeria. From the Attorney General of the Federation suggesting an agency for cow affairs, to the same man being a relative of a level 13 officer being recommended as CEO of EFCC, to the defense minister asking us to arrange our security individually. It's been a celebration of mediocrity all the way. But for the cherry news of Ngozi Okonjo Iweala becoming the head of the World Trade Organization. And now, here is my Be Like Ngozi Okonjo Iweala challenge. How do I look? <laughs> Recently, five northern governors visited Governor Makindi of Oyo State regarding the Shasha market crisis. The visit has been analyzed from different perspectives. I look at the breach of protocols during that visit and its implication in what I title the five governors and the breach of protocols. Now, being a chief executive of a state is different from being a, an executive director of a conglomerate. The present corp of governors in Nigeria and their minders must understand that. Because looking at the Shasha scenario, it's either that our new generation governors don't care about protocols or do not care about protocols, or their minders are ignorant of their responsibilities. Now, let's relieve the breaches of protocols. First, after the unfortunate incident, Governor Makinde should have summoned the Seriki Shasha, who is supposedly under the jurisdiction of the Ballet of Shasha, both of them are under the authority of the Olubado of Ibadan. Yes, the Olubado, who installed him, was not invited nor visited. Therefore, undermining the Olubado as a king and paramount ruler of Ibadan land. Shouldn't the meeting have held in the only palace recognized by the law? The traditional hierarchical authority and customary law was breached. The second breach. The visiting governors ought not to have been waiting for the Serike Shasha to receive them. He ought to have been outside on his feet waiting to usher them in. An advanced team of protocol and security officers ought to have gone ahead to ensure that the host was ready and that the vicinity was secure enough for the governors. It is auspicious for the governor of a state to visit an individual. And then when five governors visit Collectively, one would expect a certain level of trepidation and honor, respect, esteem from the host. Alas, this was not the case. Shall we attribute this disrespect to African time, arrogance, or lack of awareness? And why was the Seriki prioritized above the Bali of Shasha in this visitation? Third breach of protocol. 
the governors stood up as the Serike Shasha entered. Intriguing. How come a subject, a community leader, commanded such authority from a combination of five excellencies, executive governors of the Federal Republic, is subject to the local government, which is under the management of the state government. What's infradignitete? Do they understand the symbolism of what they did? They deferred to him. Moving on. So the governors offered to repair the Shasha markets and conveniently avoided visiting or offering to rebuild the Gongo. But I digress. In the hierarchy of the administration of a governor's office, the chief of staff and his deputy oversee the welfare, the public persona, and the perception management of the governor. There is essentially a director of protocols who has a retinue of protocol staff. So I blame the collapse of protocols on Governor Makinde's chief of staff and the director of protocols. There was certainly no political intelligence in the handling of that visit. And so the five governors were ridiculed. You see, governance is degenerating to an all-time low in Nigeria. The management of protocols is a technical space that demands thoroughly knowledgeable personnel with key skills and relevant competencies. It is not a place to dump political appointees or reward party loyalists. I therefore advocate for training for protocol officers across the state of the Federation and the incorporation of experienced former chiefs of staff in that training, our governors must display courage and administrative skills. They must also uphold the dignity of our political and traditional institutions and actors. What happened was an ISO. Should never happen again. And this thing you have said is an indignant. How did you pronounce it? That was a um, treasure, you, you have said quite a lot, um, um, and um, somebody among the governor's uh, convoy will, uh, or entourage will ask you who protocol help, oh. uh, that uh, they had to visit the scene of crime mm. or the uh, scene of uh, the event, and that uh, if they had to visit all the traditional rulers, you know. So this is how we miss it, and we create a narrative, you know, or we create another problem when we're trying to solve one. Exactly. It was a clash between communities. So one would have expected that, you know, you visit both, and mm -hmm. like we say in law, hear the other side, hear all side. But when you now go visit the Seriki, and then you leave the Bale, and plan you have, to visit him differently. Later. You are creating, you know, another problem. Another thing I see is, I mean, it's between, just like you said, two communities. You have the Yoruba community, you have the Hausa community. If you are supposed to see the head of this community and the head of that community, you not go see this one, you carry out, go see this one. It makes this person look less important. It yeah. makes whatever grievance right. they have less important. It, it means this person can do anything and get away with whatever it is yeah. that, that yeah. they did. Which is why... Like she was saying, they enter, he entered and everybody stood up. Imagine. Mm. He wasn't even there that. waiting to receive them. He wasn't even there. We got there. Um, you know, so, and that's Shouldn't why. Shouldn't it have been a town hall meeting where everybody's waiting for the government? No, you can choose to see them privately okay. and then you now call for a town hall meeting after hearing them individually. Okay. Um, but the yeah. five excellencies stood up. The five excellencies were waiting. And they were, were waiting. Does that mean him. that he's bigger than five of them? <laughs> exactly together. the point. Thanks, Medu. I, 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 I think there are some other sensitivities that were in that mix. And those sensitivities are along the line of where the casualties rested. Mm. Um, there was a clash indeed. Um, but then it was, um, it, it was killed in a way. So it's, it's more or less as if um, a placation, we have come to placate all the same. Or commercialization? Where you, you know, yeah, so, yeah so, both. Sort of, both, both in a way. But all the same, the fact that um, there is the, there's an oba in that place, even the oba and then the ballet of Shasha could have been part of everything that they want to do. Their Not entourage. just that you, yeah. Yeah, yeah it should have been. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, so men fences. Men fences. But you know the so the, 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 the oba. 
It's Imagine, not supposed to let, leave his let, palace. Let's reverse it. No, the ballet. Let's reverse this rules. Imagine five governors from the south west yeah. going to Kano. Mm. And um, you have the Emir of Kano, but rather they choose to visit um, the ballet of the Yoruba community. Mm. You know, these are sensitive issues yeah. that yeah. Yeah. you true. should be very, you very know, careful, when, careful you, handle when you handle like it. And so that it does not snowball in, into, you know, Treasure other mentioned issues. something very pivotal, which is that when you are appointing, you know, party people into, you know, sensitive positions, it, it should be about competences. Not that, oh, this person worked for our party. Kedana, he will advocate. <laughs> but that, but it's, it's normal. It's normal. Because it's normal. It, no, ah, this person has been Regardless very, very... of skills. <laughs> but you know, but which why is we, why we're seeing this gap. Which is why I think we're... They can old. be upskilled. <laughs> see, <laughs> the truth is... Then upskill them in good time. I will so say, they don't I, see, see the thing you just mentioned. We are all deceiving ourselves in this country, uh, to be quite honest with you. We know that is how they reward... <laughs> Uh, oh, I know this person. You don't see. Just Nedu. buy something. Yeah. That's what it is. Nedu. That's what it is. Is Nigeria working for you? Ah, me, Nick Paro. He's not working for me. Oh. All right. I am certain that the only thing that connects us is food. <laughs> and maybe soccer, football. Well, so most people already know that we are what we eat. But why is Wolahon choosing to talk about it today? Let's find out after this break. We are what we eat. A core part of the pervasive lifestyle change in the land has been about what we eat. And I have a very deep concern that this dimension of lifestyle change portends a serious healthcare burden in some years ahead if care is not taken. Sometimes last year, my system was messed up so badly that I started wondering if I had a tumor or something somewhere in my gut. I tried a few drugs, but there was no real improvement. When it got to a head, I decided to shoot one endoscopy, which revealed that my colon is in good shape. How can it be? And I still feel mostly uncomfortable. At some point, I resolved to eating only once a day. Sometimes not at all, but just water and tea. Then come a day of deliverance. Um, I had gone to a bookstore to get some gifts, and I spotted this book on diet by an American author. I picked it, and thank God I did. The revelation was stunning, but simple. My diet has comprised of too many wrong things and very few right things by virtue of lifestyle change. I was surprised that an American dietitian would recommend tubers over some of the grains that have dominated my diet. How was I to know that the cheap cassava is more suited to my system than the more expensive rice that came in all form of tasty flavors? The painful part for me, and this is because I love good food, was realizing that occasional fasting is healthy. As our system is not designed to just be eating the so-called three square meals every day of the year. I used to think a fruit is still a fruit is still a fruit. But of the truth, some fruits are better than others. And under certain circumstances, there are even some sugary fruits you want to avoid. A half glass of red wine is better than a bottle of the so-called sparkling fruity stuff. And those sugary drinks we love so much. In one month of dietary change, and without any drugs, my miracle came, and my system was totally reset. Peace reigned in my gut. Of course, there will be occasional indulgences. Um, but I have learned to skew my diet in favor of eating mostly the good stuff and less of the bad stuff. Our indigenous foods, a bowl of guinea corn meal, a mala and okra, or a bao with afang, pamdadian with vegetable soup, sweet potatoes, etc., a food item that your girls have evolved to love. Even if our woke emotions deceive us to see other sexy status symbol foods as delightful and delicious. On a general basis, most of the things they advertise to us to consume using cute models are actually killing us. My advocacy, 
there is serious healthcare burden ahead by virtue of our lifestyle changing food. Governments have a role to improve awareness on diets and nutrition. Individuals must also make it a point of duty to educate themselves or speak to experts on what they should consume more, those they should eat less of, and others they must avoid. We are what we eat, and it's teaching time saves nine. Were you still eating like you were a child or a teenager and expecting your gut to still freely digest those meals? Eh, you still wanted to have your so, sweet... But, but, okay, that's not the issue, really. You find out that um, uh, my first time in America, and I was like, ah, how come they know they show us pictures of all these big, big people? When you watch their movie, they show you the slim, tight, yes, no. you know, and all that. So it means you have big, big people here like this. Everything obese. in America is big. <laughs> and so they give you the impression that... You know, um, uh, when you eat their food, you'll be like this. And it became slim, now became the new heady. Um, if you are, you know, mm -hmm. um, yeah, a party, it Bad. means that uh, you are not, um, you know, heady. Uh, and then um, they use the opportunity to sell all kinds. And you see people drink different tea on empty stomach. Some will tell you, oh, don't cook with the normal pot that you cook with. You need to buy special pots. I told the lady, I said, come, I don't want my system to be too clean. That's my... You need my, some, a little bit of rum. Yes, I don't, so that my antibodies will die of not having anything to fight. I don't want them to be like... Uh, Liberous. You know? So, what I quickly, think, what, yeah. I, what I'm saying is, sometimes this narrative are intentionally created to drive markets. Are you, are you saying that I should stop eating my semo? No. Oh, my. no <laughs> honestly, semo is very important too. <laughs> semo, semo, semo is good. I'm, I, I can't take a class on nutrition. I'm not competent to do okay, so. Okay. But you see, those things that were in your body, to rust, that your body grew I, up I, with. I grew up eating a and yes. Those things are actually better for you because the system over the years has evolved to mm -hmm. love those things. Mm -hmm. uh, so those other ones that are a bit stranger to them, even when they're delicious, all the giant Which pizzas, when, when of course, cut off colors. And, you know. They saw this spaghetti bolognese. This <laughs> and can, 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 can. Bam, 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 bam. One day. When I try, when I go out of Nigeria, <laughs> I look for a Nigerian restaurant too. Oh dear, Is it that draw soup? Oh, one of it. Vitamin soup. I, I, I remember, no, I remember my sister-in-law <laughs> no, in America. I don't miss too. Um, and then she made, they said, oh, they wanted to host us on mm. Christmas Day, special, you know, all kind of dishes. And, uh, and then they set the table. I looked at the whole food. All of them were strange. <laughs> and then the one that uh, looked familiar was rice. And then as soon as I took a spoon, the food not done. I just did. My <laughs> wife was already. Mm, <laughs> and, and they said, how, how is it? In fact, the food was still in my mouth. I was like, mm, <laughs> delicious, delicious. I can relate you with know? what uh, I didn't eat that food, though. has talked about, oh. yeah. But what I find um, not doable mm. is that government no. should come in and do what <laughs> Go, and uh, do awareness. Government never creates awareness. Not there is no that 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 you. <laughs> we cannot even advocate for it. See, they're telling us to do this our security by ourselves. This is the reason why there are some airlines that can enter <laughs> traveling international. Uh, mm. They give you some. Uh, Jesus is Lord. Grass to eat. And There's. Yeah. Well, I can't mention the airline. Would they go? I was going to Dubai, but I had to get to Cairo first before going to Dubai. When they bring the food. Mm. And not see eat anything inside you. So this green, go beat you, green, green, this one. I no, begin this, drink. This give me this, like and they can't. And, and because of the flight, it, the, it gets some kind of drink with an office serve that it beat. So it was just, it was just some few. Give me juice. Give me this one. Give me that. One. It was just Ongago liquids. Mama, you, you know, you know. Funny enough, eh, what wakes me up in the morning is my boy movement. Mm. That's what right. wakes me up every morning. Because I try to run every morning, like Jumoke, riding bicycle. <laughs> but you find out that, and then once I go to the, the, the restroom, mm. if I eat all this uh, mende mende, you know, I, I hardly, you know, um, pass, it easily. Pass, pass out. But when I eat garden egg. Correct. Fruits. Gary, fruit care. Gary. In the evening, say with between what five soup? six. What soup? Ah man, I with uh, hey, maybe we will be vegetable. Vegetable or a uh, goosey granite so, soup. Mm. Uh, mm. 
in helping so, your, with his white bird in helping his advocacy this, yeah. the difference is that your body would you know quickly recognize food mm. that is organic that is so useful. that is grown as opposed to processed foods you not know so your your pastor and things like that things that are not grown will be different from natural fruits oh definitely yeah. definitely the Advocate is better with your participation. It is now time to share some of the viewpoints on issues discussed here. Responding to the advocacy on Governor Sawolu's transportation work, M.O. Billions says, that is what makes for effective criticism, else it becomes merely political witch hunting. Kudos to you for giving accolades when due. Follow us on our social media platforms on Facebook Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com slash The Advocate NG. After the break, Nedu is illustrating how successive governments in Nigeria use the promises of fighting corruption to hoodwink the populace in what he calls Comchopol. But Nedu, how does corruption sound in your own ears? Corruption sounds like corruption. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot fight corruption with corruption. All forest fire starts from small and eventually grew massive. If you vote for a corrupt leader because he champions your race or religion, you deserve everything you asked for. Crime, robbery, violence, and ETC. But I hope we see the bigger picture someday. Come chop all. In English language, homophones are said to be each of two or more words having the same pronunciation but different meanings, origins, or spelling. For example, new, spelled as N-E-W, referring to something produced introduced or discovered recently and on the other hand new spelled as k-n-e-w referring to past tense of no it would entail proper command of english language and a great deal of attention to comprehend the meaning of some sentences when certain homophones are used interchangeably especially without recourse to the correct pronunciation let me first apologize to mama charlie for creating my own homophone. But for clarity's sake, and to drive home my point, I'm left with no choice. The term corruption is a popular word in Nigerian political lexicon. And there seem to be an agreement amongst members of her ruling class and the citizenry that corruption is the bane of Nigeria's development. From the first military coup d'etat in 1966 to the recent decision to forward the name of Abdul Rashid Bawa to the Senate for confirmation as substantive uh, EFCC chair, various governments, military junta, and democratically elected alike have vowed to rid Nigeria of corruption and at one point or the other. President Buhari insisted that corruption will kill us. Yeah, it will kill us if we don't kill it. It's an important reminder of the Herculean task ahead of us as a nation. But as a people, are we, are we really ready and committed to killing this hydra-headed monster? Does corruption really sound like corruption to everyone? I be some the year corruption, others the year come chop all. I don't know, are you with me? <laughs> you get it now. <laughs> Corruption and come to up all, my brothers and sisters, these words, they feel they sound like homophones to some politicians and even many citizens. But hear my point exactly. Corruption, whether made manifest in the abuse of public office or in the exhibition of reckless and irresponsible behavior, is bad. But is it bad for everybody? Those public officials who abuse their powers and act reckless with reckless abandon are product of our society. So also are those who jump queues, run red lights in traffic, 
maneuver one way, arrange to sort their keys in special centers when they are writing wire, yeah, jam, neko. <laughs> oh, you think say now only those where they chop big big money from governments they they corrupt banana? <laughs> no, corruption not be a clicker. You not get first and second grade. Corruption and corruption. We have to admit that for many, now nah, waiting no favor us. Now you be corruption, now you with me. If better breeze blow our side, my brother, <laughs> come to Paul. We must look in the mirror and tell ourselves the truth. We are the change that we seek. Brilliant. I'm... I am corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just quickly confess, oh, okay, because yeah. I beat red light. <laughs> and Lagos State, they vex. These few days, they have uh, dispatch riders. They will, will block you. you. Madam mm. Park. Hey, okay, uh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> you, you know, but it, it's similar to, uh, you know, my advocacy that, you know, all of us are involved in this. Correct. We... I tell, I said, I don't. I, Nigerian will not be better if our leaders only want it good. It is the followers that will insist that it should be better, mm -hmm. and that's when we now say that look, things must change. Like you said, leaders are drawn from amongst us. Yeah. The day your brother is appointed, uh, giving appointment, even if you are the greatest critic of the governor, ah. you will tell him congratulations, and then we, we hide under. He's been called to serve, mm. uh, <laughs> you know. So, so that's why our mindset must change. I tell people, oh, I pray for you to get appointment. I say, God forbid, Olani Peku didn't get appointment before donating blocks to universities. Mm -hmm. Afe Babalola didn't get appointment before building a university from practice. I can influence my community, my state, without having to hold a pol political office. But what we do is to continue to shape opinion. Yeah. For me, this but, is but, a larger but, classroom. Is that, is that also not a problem? Because if everybody decides to go your own way, no, that there are many don't people want to that participate are, in There are many people on the other side. There are yes. people yeah. who yeah. will yeah. 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 shape their opinion. There are, more, there are more people on the other side <laughs> than there is. The professor the cannot say because the students are bad, he wants to take the position of the students. Uh -huh. That means you have to teach better. You know what I always say, what worries me a lot is, recently I went to the airport to pick my words coming in from London. And, and once you want to enter that, um, you know, that arrival site to go and pick them up, they, I saw two police officers and two civil defense officers. I was like, ah, I was with my mask, they didn't see my face, so they didn't know who I was. I was like, I, my, I get people where you don't land, I want to go inside, I say, eh. Which flight? I told them, eh, oh, you just land. Eh, but before you enter, you go find us like 1,000 naira. Mm. Mm. I'm like... Corruption. So all of them, they complain, oh, but how do you do this one? But how do you do that one? But how do you do this one? Yet you want to collect 1,000 naira from my hand. Look, we agree that the government officials, they do what they do. They know how to do best. They do it. But we, if, just like I said, the government official, now from our society, come out. Yeah. Picking where they train well. There's no how you get there, even one way or the other. When you get there, there's the system which just one word or the other. They will tell you how you. we do it, okay? Shape you. Okay, I'm will tell you how we do it for here. You're not supposed to. But work. regardless, treasure. What I, what, what I find um, displeasing is that the followership is as guilty as the leadership. It's yeah. worse than the leadership. They're just the waiting sense for of their own entitlements and the, the arrogance with which they ask mm. for some mm. of these things, like. Mm -hmm. Look, you don't have a choice. You Madame, give your brothers to are me. here. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> you know, it's 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 brazen. Yep. And it's it's dehumanizing at the same time. But I'm not seeing the car where you drive now. Mm. Wow. wow. <laughs> exactly. Things <laughs> like that. Imagine. That one is even bad. You, you, the money you saved, your susu, you saved in the bank. You want to collect it. The security man by the the way we go there, greet he's you, waiting, eh? greeting you, wanting to collect from there. Like all of us put money for a bank together mm. now. Collect your own. I collect my own. You know, and then that sense of entitlement. Is entitlement. And they say, ah, the salary no day enough. And, you know, so no, but on my own day enough. True. And I, I also think as Nigerians, we must step up on willingness to do th things right in our own country. Nigerians go to London, they behave well. They go mm -hmm. to America, they behave well. Mm. They come to Nigeria, they run red light, they, they bribe, they 
cheat. They do all sort of yeah, things in their Castro, own country. In a state of lawlessness, it is illegal yes, so to law abiding. Bet. God bless you, sir. It is, like because it's that the system is, that, that is, that is what, which is why, of what is putting which is why, problem. which is why, which is why, when you are on Lagos Road, you they follow normal way. First way they follow one way, now you get sense. You way they follow that normal way, now you yeah, be the yes, No, but the now. government, our government display this all the time. Yeah. Yes. You hear people saying, give amnesty to bandits. Uh -huh. And then a man who defends himself because a bandit or a criminal was going to kill He's him arrested. is then sentenced and to death by hanging. I don't understand. It's in Nigeria that we have good and bad bandits. Like, bandits is not a negative word <laughs> by itself. All, all, all like bandits are not criminals. All, like like <laughs> all our bandits are criminals. <laughs> anyways, anyways, anyways. The son of Oshoma speaks when we return from the break on the need to leave and let leave. Don't go away. Nigeria, we hate it. Our own dear native land. Though tribe and tongue may differ, in brotherhood we can stand, if only we agree to agree or disagree. While the rest of the world and Africa is celebrating some of our own, Ngozi Okonjo Ewela, Akiume Adeshino, and Amina Mohammed, we are here killing ourselves over the place of rotten tomatoes in Shasha in Oyo State. And the fear of people who have lived with us for years from taking over our community. We are discussing what cows should eat, where they should walk, how AK-47 loaded guns should be used to guard them in Bauchi, why terrorists kill scores in Sokoto and kidnap students in Niger State. How about the beheading of clerics in Borono and militia headers wrecking havoc on defenseless farmers in Ondo, Benue, Plateau and Taraba State? then kidnapping villagers, students, and travelers in Kasina, Edo, Ogu, and Kogi State. But those who should protect us says we should grant amnesty to deadly terrorists in Borono and Sanfara. Why peaceful protesters in Lagos are brutalized and terrorized by the police, and rape victims in Kaduna and Nasara State are asked to make the bed and accommodate their rapists in clean sheets. Yet the president is holed up somewhere with occasional press releases from his aides. The victim is in all of this is neither compensated nor assured hope of a better tomorrow, even though they, the victim, are falling over one another to elect the same people who have consistently shown lack of capacity into yet another round of leadership position come 2023 for as little as 500 naira per vote, despite still waiting for the promised democratic dividend. We just a fool ourselves. No wonder they are busy jumping from one party to another, pretending to want to serve the people. When I went on, jumpology, mass server, I don't blame them. I wait for Nigeria, not for lack of wise people, but because we have allowed intellectually disabled people who have invested heavily in violence, ignorance, turbulence, and poverty to take over the reign of the intelligent ones. We have allowed the lawless, pretending as Praetorian Guard to rule over the law abiding, and nobody can rescue us but ourselves. According to my friend and brother, Agba Jalingo, years after independence, we're still going around this circuitous rigmarole. The same fear and anxiety that tormented the carapace of our mind for decades have continued to hover over us like an absurd goblin. This is not necessarily because we hate each other or anyone wants to take over another home, another's homeland, but because the state has relinquished large swaths of the country to non-state gang lords and ethnic supremos who now appropriate and colonize slices of the country on their own terms, while in some cases pretending to guard same for the interest of the larger all. Marudas, militants, ethnic warriors, kidnappers, and bandits, terrorists, just name it, and it's replicated somewhere or everywhere in Nigeria with active connivance of state actors and leadership silence. While we celebrate the opportunities given to Nigeria in Canada, US, Australia, and other modern countries to visit, reside, work, become citizens, and even aspire to elective offices therein, yet, we refuse fellow Nigerians the same opportunity to grow or stand for elected positions in their state of residence 
simply because they are non-indigenous of such states. Even though that's the only home they know, haven't lived, and in some cases grew businesses and intermarry in these places. No, they're only good for population census and voting, but definitely not to be voted for. This mindset must change. You celebrate your kids born in America and Canada becoming citizens of this country, but still address kids born in your state on the basis of state of origin of their parents, claiming it is the constitution. If this is not hypocrisy, then tear your dictionary. Until we, until we change that mindset, we will not commence the journey of creating a place you can call a country. A government sworn to guarantee the welfare and security of our people has left these same people at the mercy of killers, militias, and warmongers. While looking for reserves for cows and guns to protect headers, should we be shocked when citizens take laws into their hands and journalists report the story with a touch of falsehood. I will therefore advocate that until we put Nigerians in the hands of people who understands what the Constitution says when it stated that the security, welfare, education, health, freedom to coexist, and the ability to deal with criminality, irrespective of tongue or tribe, are paramount to the existence of any nation who might just be sitting on a keg of smoking gunpowder already exploding before our very own eyes. And to avert this, we must agree to agree and agree to disagree, peacefully, coexistentially, and return to a Nigeria where Kabiru Ahmed from Kassina State becomes a commissioner for waterfront infrastructure development in Lagos without anyone asking where is he from, but his competence. A Nigeria where al Maru Atine from the north beats an Igbo contestant to emerge the first mayor of Enugu in eastern Nigeria in the First Republic. A Professor Patu Tomi should be able to contest election in Lagos, where he has lived all his life than in Delta State, his state of origin, where he's hardly known. In Nigeria, where Chinedu Ayaw from Imo State can walk up to al Haji Suleiman Galadima in Kano to ask for his daughter's hand in marriage without fear of a mob attack from youth in the locality. In Nigeria, where Bashir Abdullah from Bauchi State will be scared to send his kids to Amanayabo Secondary School in Yenagua in Baesa without knowing anybody daring. It's possible if only we talk with one another, not minding our tribe or tongue, and we, the followers, are determined to make it happen. Government must also invest more in education, even though we all can't be educated, as some of us will always do many jobs or become headers, the more educated and knowledgeable we are as a people, the more accommodating and rational we will become. Even though in Nigeria, education does not guarantee tolerance, it will at least reduce our ignorance and hypocrisy. I beg to move. Mm. Move, oh, liberal. So, so move. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, when we saw the images of, of the classrooms and boarding rooms of the, the, the young children kidnapped from Kagara, um, quite a lot of people wailed on mm. social media. Correct. How could our children have been sleeping in such pathetic conditions and attending school and learning in such conditions? You, you've said let and let live. Are our politicians, the legislature, the Nigerian legislature, living and letting the others live? No, they are not. They don't, yeah, they, no, don't, they don't care. I, no, they, they don't care. No, let when, me, when you're let, done, I will attempt to answer that your question. Somebody, living and 20 letting. marks for the exam. Somebody, oh. some, they know, it's but they don't easy. care. Yeah. For example, a friend of mine um, that lives in London, um, the other day I was in London and we were talking, and he was telling me how he can never come back to Nigeria. Why? He said, Baba, I come London. My wife wasn't born. They don't go to hospital, don't born. Before they allowed his wife back home with the child, he said they send people go house, go check whether switch there, whether this one there, whether this one there. Child safety. To make sure that the child is safe in, in that, that house. house first. Yes, sir. <laughs> they do we, that we, outside We live the in an environment well. where... They don't do that in Nigeria. The pregnant woman... Will be well, the one to look for her fire. Exactly. Now, Kada, a labor, a, a woman in labor. They use by we barrow carry some. 
<laughs> so the hospital. So what, what are we, where, we where are we talking about? We live in a society about? where even the pregnant woman, they have no mercy for her when she goes to the hospital. Madam, open your leg. We did that when you did dwam. I'm no, telling no. you. Yeah. It's, 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 so but quickly, let me answer your question. Yeah. Eh? Living and let's live. If you remember when, the, during the NSAS protest, mm. the same government you criticized, you were talking about, it is a few of us that they gathered to disrupt yes. the rest. If only we speak with, this, one, voice. with one voice, that's right. the leave and let's leave that I'm talking about. We agree to disagree and disagree to agree and say, look, these people are fighting our cause too. So you are the enemy. Our yeah. politicians will respect us. If only we leave and let that our neighbor that is feeling the pain where like us. Right. I, I, I think where you're right, uh, Bola, one minute. Where you're right, even the last protest, uh, the, the one that this happened last weekend. last weekend, there was a particular group who, which had prepared itself to yeah. defend. Defend. They and never came they out. Used as well. Yes. It was just but, incredibly but, but quickly, insane but, but to quickly, hear. Yeah. But, but, Their job was to put fear. Correct. But, but, and it worked. But do you know if we know that, look, treasure I have lived with all my years, so why should a politician come and tell me treasure is my enemy because she's from so another Osho, tribe. and yes. so I am a do, and so we should go and chase them out. And a politician, for a selfish interest, is sending me on that errand. I will tell him no. So this is where Treasure I is not my enemy. It is your you. depriving me yeah. of the basic things. That is... People so, need to understand. Sorry, sorry to cut you. People... Just, just like you said, people need to understand that PDP, APC, because I see two political parties, that is same. they are not the opposition. They are the same. We, the people, are, are the, the opposition. opposition. Yes. Then That's it has right. to be bewitchment for <laughs> we, the people, who are in the opposition, to be defending them, the politicians, because, because of they poverty. Are ahead it's of poverty. Us when it comes to the manipulation, they manipulate which us. Is why, which is and why... Which is why the COVID, um, um, the palliatives, palliatives that they gave to you to give to people, you keep it. One actually kept everything because he wants to share it on her birthday. On her birthday. Her birthday. And nothing has happened to her. And we wanted, nothing to, has happened we wanted to, her. to recall her, no, but nothing, nothing, nothing has happened to her. Nothing will happen to her. You know why? Why? Because the moment something wants to happen to her, she they, will expose everybody. No, she would say. The Igbos want to fight exactly. Yoruba. Yeah, there will be placards and about people by, by supporting so her. Exactly. No, but the people supporting her are paid agents, and we know of that. But even I'm if saying you know, that, that you even, pay if you know, you know. even if you know, there's nothing you can do about it. That's the I thing I say. We're all deceiving ourselves. When, 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 when someone married a 14 year old girl, there were women from his state who carried who placards. Carry placard to come and protest that why because are they disturbing they say, him? Jumoke, quickly, why do you think that when that happened? Those in the north, even who are suffering the pain, say no, it's our tradition, mm -hmm. it's our culture. Exactly. The south should not interfere exactly. in this matter. Exactly. Are they not the ones even asking for underage voters as wives to now be voting? Oh. I think the, the tools that our politicians use, one is poverty, Number two one. is distractions. They use like religion. asking, like going to the legislature. To legislate that bleaching creams should not be. <laughs> Why should that be a priority? Why should that be a priority? Like there was one I saw in the news yesterday or day before yesterday. That yes. they want to uh, that they want to vac uh, vaccinate 1.5 million dogs in Nigeria. Oh, you haven't you haven't seen Lagos that? Oh, I have in Lagos, Lagos State. State. I don't know. Do we have that number of dogs? Do we have that number of dogs? Do you mind being shouty, gentlemen? I don't know. But they do really. Didn't you didn't you see how much was budgeted to feed horse and dogs oh. during the election? Oh, so why are you? Why are the you? police dogs, eh? Yes. How many dogs did you see during that election? None came out. None. <laughs> Even bingo. Even the police that were deployed, <laughs> the police that were deployed didn't get that enough money. And they had dogs who were meant to so, so until the people rise to say yes. no more. And when I say rise, I do not mean in a you know violent in a way. negative way. It's yeah. just that the people say, you know what? No more. Yes, we must agree to agree. And we agree must agree. agree. And speak with one voice. Let's continue to advocate oh, so that it will happen. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep advocating um, and then um, mode opinion. And someday we might be able to change your mindset. There's certainly never enough time, but we may do. Please don't just listen. Remember what they say. Rome was not built in a day. Play your own part, even if it's just to share the advocate with families and friends. The more diverse thoughts we share, the richer the solution they aspire. 
Don't forget this, the advocacy continues on our social media platform on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag the Advocate NG. And on Twitter and Instagram, at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the Advocate NG. And to catch up with previous broadcasts, simply go to plustvafrica.com forward slash the Advocate NG. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Join us next week, same time on this same station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. Until then, adios. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. That's it, really it, 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 I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.